We have Donchell right around the corner. Like me, I'm sure you'll all be scrambling to get your characters progressed to level 90. Hopefully this guide will help you expedite your leveling experience. If you're wondering how to quickly get to level 30, check out our earlier guide on just how to do that. The biggest thing holding your fast leveling for all the levels is gonna be queue time. So we're gonna focus on DPS in order to create uh, a worst case scenario for planning. Let's take a look at Dragoon. Dragoon is a class that we've been leveling on stream, so that way we can try a bunch of different methods to see what works the best. With the different methods of leveling, I have came up with sort of a prioritization. All right, so without further ado, at the start of every gameplay session, while you're trying to level, you should start off with leveling roulette. So go over ahead to duty, to the duty finder, select leveling, and join. You're gonna see the queue time pop over here, and if it's less than five minutes, it's definitely something that you want to do. Now, remember that we're talking about efficiency through all these leveling methods. So while you're doing the leveling roulette and you're in the queue, you're going to be one of uh, multitasking here. As an example, right? One of the things that you could be doing while waiting for the dungeon queue is going to your hunting log. Whatever level that you have currently unlocked, go through these and it will get you a ton of experience. I think each one of these hunting logs for 10 levels will be worth uh, two to three levels just by themselves. So it's definitely worth your time to invest in doing the hunting log while you're waiting on the queues for the leveling roulette. Also, while you're waiting uh, for leveling roulettes, if you have already completed your hunting logs for your 10 or so levels that you're currently at, the next thing that you want to do is you want to work on your class quest. Now, you have to stay up to date on your class quest because there's going to be some features of your classes that are going to be locked behind those quests, and so you're going to need to want to do those in order to maximize your combat effectiveness as your level. Another option outside of duty roulettes is Palace of the Dead. Now, Palace of the Dead is called a deep dungeon, and it is a good source of leveling. Now, the problem with Palace of the Dead is the uh, queue times. So let's head over here. You can find Palace of the Dead right here in Quarry Mill in South Shroud. Head over there, talk to this guy right here, the Wood Whaler Expeditionary Captain. And then you can queue in. Now the thing is, the best way to do this is to run a certain series of levels. So if it is your first time doing the deep dungeon, make sure you at least do the first hundred levels to unlock the uh, progress that you need. So once you've done that, or if you've done that already, when you come to come here to spam dungeons, the level, instead of the roulette, you're gonna go to reset your progress, whichever class you're doing, you're gonna reset it, 461, yes, reset. And you're gonna enter Palace of the Dead, select the save slot, enter with a matched party, and you can do floor 51. So with floor 51 and on, you'll see the queue times. Queue times are very fast. So we'll go ahead, hop in here, and knock that out real quick. Now, if the queue time is over six minutes, then I would say uh, to do something else. And that next thing we'll talk about here in a minute after I knock this one out. and that completes a singular run now as you can see on the timer right there it took us about 13 minutes to knock out a single run so you can add that to the queue time and you're looking about 20 to 25 minutes per run um also if you look down here you get a quarter million experience now it does scale up to a certain point it will become not a good source of xp once you get it up to the 60s it will be good enough for what we're talking about today so there you go so that's running a uh, deep dungeon palace of the dead for leveling now we're going to move on from there to doing level appropriate dungeons so remember to keep in mind that we're we've been talking about q times the whole time right because q times is what's going to determine the fastest is most efficient way for you to level starting right off the bat leveling roulettes that'll be your fastest queues while you're waiting in the queues make sure you're multitasking by doing class quests and hunting log if the leveling roulette is done for the day and you're ready to move on to an alternate method. House of the Dead and Quarry Mill is your next best method for leveling. Now, once you've completed that or if the queue times are not very good for Palace of the Dead, you're going to move on to Duty Roulettes, 
that are specifically around your level. So take the duty finder, deselect leveling. So now we're going to move over to dungeons, AR, Heaven's Ward, Stormblood, Shadowbringers. Now for us, from level 30 to 50, it's going to be a Realm Reborn. So find whatever level above 30 that you are able to run. So if you've exhausted all those methods and you're still at level 30, which you shouldn't be, after doing a uh, one leveling roulette dungeon, hunting log and class quest, you should probably be level 34 or 35, which opens up these two. And so from that point on, you can start using these dungeons to level. Continue using them all the way up until you get into these hard modes ignore the uh the hard mode stuff right here so you can ignore the hard dungeons because remember we're trying to make this as easy as and fast as possible so stay with the level 50s moving on to heaven's ward you unlock the 50 to 60 tier uh dungeons so that should cover uh level 30 to 50 right there uh doing those dungeons so when you start your session you're gonna do leveling roulette while you're in the queue you're gonna be working on a hunting log and class quests One once you've used up your leveling roulettes, you're going to move on to Palace of the Dead. If the queue times are bad on Palace of the Dead, then you're going to move on to your level appropriate dungeons. Now, once you hit level 50 to 60, that gap right there, it does change slightly. So with leveling roulette, you're going to unlock more things. So you're able to queue up for MSQ, which is main story quest dungeons. They do take a lot of time, but the uh, experience rewards are very, very good. The rewards for it are a guaranteed level up, possibly two, depending on your level. Once you've completed MSQ and leveling roulettes from 50 to 60, you're going to move directly on to level appropriate dungeons. So you're not going to bother with the deep dungeons after you complete those. Don't waste time with Heaven on High or Palace of the Dead because the XP rewards are not as good as if you were to spam regular level appropriate dungeons. Throughout this process, you're going to be collecting Tome Stones of Poetics. If you hit Control C, it'll bring up your currency window. Tome Stones of Poetics are these things right here. These are going to give you your best in slot gear for the level 50, 60, 70, and 80 level tiers. Don't max it out and not spend them. You might as well just buy the good gear and continue on. An example of this is being that I'm level 60, I've used the Poetics in idle shire to purchase shire gear so augmented gear but they're all augmented shire gear this augmented shire gear is item level 270 it's basically best in slot for this level tier now that you know the method right it's just a matter of applying it and so this should be able to level you up quickly i utilize this leveling method for my reaper right here now i will create some more guides for the levels after 60 and 70 and so on but for me this was the fastest way to get these guys that you see that are level 60 like dragoon samurai gunbreaker like all of these ones I, I i leveled up doing this way this was the fastest method i could find so in summary you can do your leveling daily roulettes your hunting logs and class quests while you're waiting on queues do Palace of the Dead up to level 50, then level appropriate dungeons after that. Use your Tome Stones for augmented gear. You can find those locations online, and that should make your leveling experience considerably quicker. I hope this helps you out with speeding up your preps for Dawn Trail. If you want to support us, follow on Twitch, like, and subscribe for more content, and comment below on what methods you prefer to use. Till next time, have a good one.